Alright, in this video I want to do the rest of my examples about rewriting powers of i. And again, one of the main observations I use is that i raised to an exponent that's a multiple of 4 equals 1. So in this case I think uh, we had the three problems left over, i to the negative 42, i to the negative 28, and negative i to the negative 13. So again, uh, notice now we have some negative exponents floating around. So that's okay, they won't be too bad to deal with. Um, so we have i to the negative 42. And again, to make negative exponents positive, we try to put those on the other side of the fraction. So I'm going to make this a fraction by simply dividing it by 1. You could also think that the numerator is being multiplied by 1. Okay, so the 1 stays in the numerator. The i to the negative 42, we'll put that in the denominator as i to the positive 42. And again, now I just think is 42 a multiple of 4? Well, no, but 40 is pretty close to that, and that is a multiple of 4. And then I could multiply that by i to, I to the second power. So again, i to the 40th, since it's a multiple of 4, that's just simply going to give us 1. And then I can rewrite i squared. We know that i squared is negative 1. So we have 1 over negative 1, which simplifies to just negative 1. Okay, so i to the negative 28, that was our second, or our second example in this video. Um, I'm going to rewrite that over 1. Again, so the trick is we can rewrite this as 1 over i to the positive 28. And in this case, I think is 28 a multiple of 4. Well, yeah, 28 is a multiple of 4. Um, so it turns out that i to the 28th is just going to give us 1. So it says i to the negative 28th is just, again, a fancy way of writing the number 1. All right, last but not least, we have negative i to the negative 13. I'm going to start off by writing that as negative 1 times i to the negative 13th power. Same thing, we can think about this as being over 1. The negative 1 stays upstairs. And then we'll have i to the positive 13th power in the denominator. And again, 13 is not a multiple of 4, but I can write it as i to the 12th times i to the 1st. i to the 12th is simply equal to 1, so it says we'll be left with negative 1 over i. And certainly this is valid. Um, a lot of times, though, people will, will try to write it so that you don't have um, i's in the denominator of a fraction. So in this case, what we can do is we can actually multiply the numerator by i and the denominator also by i. Okay, so it says in the numerator we would have negative 1 times i. In the denominator we would have i squared. Um, but now we can keep simplifying this a little bit further. So we've got negative i on top, but i squared is equal to negative 1. So now if we cancel the negative and the negative, we'll simply be left with positive 1i to the first power. So it turns out that negative i, where is it at? Negative i to the negative 13th is equivalent to just i to the first power. Okay, so again, kind of, you know, kind of tricky. Again, the whole way I do this is just thinking about multiples of 4. Um, and just really trying to rewrite the exponent um, in a correct manner and then simplifying it from there. So, all right, I hope this video makes some sense and helps you out.